Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Jimenez showdown card to check out. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is six foot one, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. Uh, he is a base lengthy player on a shadow chemistry style with 82 acceleration, 83 for sprint speed while working with good defensive capabilities. Uh, like the William Carvalho card, I feel like EA should have increased the base card size of this card a little bit more uh, to make him a little bit usable in the meta of the gameplay. And then obviously whoever wins would get the massive improvement. Now, in my case, obviously, I hope this card doesn't get upgraded at all, but we're going to get him for the review account uh, because obviously I want Portugal to win. But this card could be a pretty decent card to work with in the future in regards to the Uruguay links. That's going to be the biggest thing here, because if you're doing a team where you have that left back that plays, that's the gameplay objective card you can unlock. You have Araujo on your team. You put Suarez in your team. You get the Uruguayan manager. There's a couple of things you can work with there in regards to this card potentially getting improved, right? Uh, In-game player traits, he has the uh, dives into tackles traits, injury prone trait, in-game attributes. Like I said, the card is kind of strangely formatted because if this was before the patch, the lengthy would already make the card pretty decent to work with on a lengthy, even in the center back position. But it is a card that definitely needs the improvement. If he does get the improvement in the future, base card stats for physical would be improved. You're still going to give him a shadow chemistry style because I feel like it's going to be the most ideal thing to make him as perfect as possible defensively. The pace, they would have to give like a plus four on acceleration and sprint speed for it to really fit the meta criteria in this game. We're going to see what he's like currently, but it's just a uh, food for thought when it comes to this card. Passing, not really existent on it. Dribbling on the card uh, doesn't look too crazy as well. Definitely very low in that area. But a shadow chemistry style improving pace and defending could make him a usable card uh, with physical stats instead of the way that it is in a very good area. So uh, with Jimenez in game, guys, we're obviously going to be using him in the center back position. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the SBC first, and I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay, guys, so uh, we're going to be using him in the center back position, clearly. Um, do, 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 do. Shadow chemistry style. Okay. Coolio, Coolio. Coolio, Coolio. 4, 2, 3, 1. Playing him in the center back position. Does he have a weak foot? I already forgets because I'm using, I'm mean, checking out the uh, Carvalho card. I don't think he does, if I remember correctly. He does not. Okay, cool. So we'll use him on the right side then. Yeah. All right, let's go try him out. The only reason why that was a foul there is because of uh, William tackling, but Jimenez did a great initial job. I'll take it. I don't know what happened there, but I move. Well done, Jimenez. All AI there. I mean, listen, his positioning is the same as Palinga. Palinga is the medium high, but him and uh, Palinga are completely well balanced with each other. Jimenez gets that as well. Oh! Oh, that was actually pretty good. Little turnaround pass. So that was a good test there because I want to see what it was like to kind of like overcommit, stop, and then turn. He overcommits quite a bit there. It's a good thing we screwed up there so we can actually get a defensive play out of him. All trigger tackle. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you with Jimenez, right? Uh, if we're talking about a future improvement for him, he actually has, like, decent animations. He does. Uh, but he definitely needs the improvements. But, like, the way that he runs after the ball and stuff, it feels, like, light in a way, you know? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a good interception. Like I said, I like his animation choices. Like, he definitely has potential. Wow, what a deflection for the power strike. Ha! <laughs> oh, man. That's all AI right there. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. See? Puts pressure on him. Pushes him off a little bit there. I'll take a PK there. Where's my boy Jimenez? How many penalties? How much penalties do he have? The worst one? Yeah. Look at this. Still going to be the best penalty ever. Bang! Oh! We'll take it. Nicely done. Lagron switch downwards. We'll take it. switch yeah see like he has good animation choices I will admit collect that yeah like I said he has really good defensive animations like very possession based tackles so like if he gets an upgrade it would definitely be very nice for his card. I mean, I hope he doesn't, to be fair. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it would be helpful for him, for sure. Especially for those, like, Uruguayan links. That was just an L trigger shield. Nobody gets to it. He gets deflection scores. There we go. I was done with the weak foot. Nice. AI is well positioned there. Yeah, those situations there that you're gonna you're gonna want more pace. I'll tell you that much. The shot power is weird sometimes because you want to block that general area and you kind of like go ahead, but sometimes it doesn't get it. Jimenez with the AI gets that. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Jimenez card. So guys, um, so with the showdowns, I, I said this in the last time, like the reason why I haven't been doing too many of the showdown reviews this year is because... You base it off of what they could potentially be when it comes to upgrades, yes. But the SPCs that EA releases, they should be at least like, okay, let me show you guys an example, right? So this posh card, right? Just, just, just spitballing, okay? Just spitballing. This card, you know, he's behind the meta curve now because of the whole gameplay patch with the lengthy and stuff, but you could totally still use this card 100%, right? But... 85 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, lengthy, base card stats for physical is not there. Obviously, defensive stuff's not there, but 85, 95, right? 85, 95, and he feels behind it a little bit. So with Jimenez, that pace will be a little bit of a letdown, okay? However, you could tell that the card has potential because defensive animations come off good, right? Like he does a lot of possession-based tackles, which is, which is fantastic. Um, defensively, he does feel solid, right? Because he's a six foot one player, high and average body type, great defensive stats, physical stats being there too. There's a bunch of potential to work with there, but he needs to be massively improved in the pace department by at least a plus five or four to kind of fit this meta a little bit more on the lengthy, right? But then his dribbling stats would also be, they would have to also be massively improved too. So as an SBC, um, I do feel like EA 
kind of make these cards L's because, you know, and I feel like they know because they, they drop these. I consider these types of cards like the concept cards because they're 40K as an SPC. So if you're trying to work with some sort of Uruguayan links uh, and you want to fit Swords in your team, it's going to be a given that you're going to get this card, right? Because it's probably going to be his best version of his card until, you know, he gets some sort of promo in the future. So that's going to be the main reason why you unlock him. But it's hard to say what type of improvements EA will actually do to a card like this because he definitely needs the massive improvement in pace as well as the uh, the dribbling but what i am going to say is like i said he actually has good animation choices he doesn't feel generic in that sense right when it comes to you know going for the light challenges the hard challenges and stuff that stuff is good but the pace being super relevant to the game nowadays that would have to be massively improved I'm going to be honest with you guys. I hope this card never gets improved because he's up against Portugal. So I need Portugal to win. But um, that's what the card needs for him to be very, very good. But as of right now, it is a card that you unlock for the Uruguayan links for the most part. But other than that, you got to really hope that EA gives some like massive improvements to him, right? Like the dislikes are definitely warranted unless EA does some massive improvements on the card because he's still going to be on a shadow even if he gets the improvements in the card, right? He's still going to be on the shadow. So base card stats for physical is a given that will be higher. Um, like I said, he could t potentially be pretty decent for 40K, like maybe. It really just depends on how they improve him because he has the right base stuff. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.